I cannot wait for the like once all the systems are in place with multiple systems and you actually need a long range vehicle. You know, there's a need for a carrick, there's a need for light fighters, there's a need for large vessels and carriers and stuff like that. Everything is in the game and you know. Oh yeah. Every ship will helpfully have a purpose. A purpose exactly. That's what I cannot wait for. Yeah. They're they're gonna be built for their role and then yeah, once mm -hmm. the systems and everything go in there, it's like all right, we're gonna go to mm -hmm. Odin star system. We're gonna yeah. need to need something bigger than a hornet. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, system. yeah. yeah. And you know what, like, let's say, for example, you, you decide that you want to go um, a few systems out like Odin, for example, right? And what's your time horizon for that? Like, how, what do you, what would you expect in terms of the amount of time it'll take for, let's say, an organization to move a convoy over to a few systems over? Uh, so let's see, logistically speaking, if everybody logs in at the same star system mm -hmm. and they log out and say so probably give it around 45 to an hour to load up all the vehicles right. get you know meet do the meet right. and greet load up so that's an hour mm -hmm. what, what uh 10 minutes to line up all mm -hmm. the ships that you're going to need to line up mm -hmm. and then uh, jump to the what is it? Jump gate? What is it called? Yeah. The jump wormholes gate. or the jump gates, yeah. Yeah, yeah the jump gates. So, so once you get into the jump gates, then depending on the size of them, because there are there's going to be different sizes, I believe. Right, right. Uh, going through and probably and also depending on how many jumps you're going to have to go to Odin. Right. But yeah, probably like an hour and a half to probably. Mm -hmm maybe close to two hours mm -hmm. to get to a, a different star system with an org two hours okay yeah okay you know uh, that's probably going to be like worst case scenario but once mm -hmm. you guys do it a couple of times mm -hmm. and practice it it's like all right you know, when you log off log off at this station right you know, cause, you know then on, on saturday's event you know when mm -hmm. you guys all meet up or something like that it's like okay everybody's here great let's dd mal let's go right 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 okay okay for me um my my perspective on it i feel i feel like it should take several days like oh, really yeah like th this is this way i'm thinking it right in terms of the level of immersion right traveling as a convoy through multiple systems we're talking about timing to prepare to refuel and re restock you know and let's say you run into situations where you know you may need to stop and you know fight off pirates or anything like that and then to get through one system and then let's say for example pyro the distance within pyro to get from one side of pyro to the other side as one example, right, could probably be like a 30 minute jump, depending on the drives you're running, or if you're running efficient drives, it's gonna be slow, you know? So like, I'm thinking there should be some committed time, especially like if you're an org and you're moving there, let's say to, you're moving there to go and set up a base or pick a location to set up a base. It should be an invested type of thing. And I feel like it'll help with the immersion. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know, that's, that's just how I, I, I I'm thinking, I think it would be cool if it was like that. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. Yeah, because, yeah, and I wasn't even thinking. It's like, oh, yeah, you got to stop for gas. Unless yeah. you have a couple of star fares with you. But then exactly. they're going to but they're gonna slow you down because they're not fast-moving ships. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're, not, they're not quick on the draw, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a, a, an invested thing. I think that's that's the direction they might want to go to. You know, it's gonna be a commitment. You're, you're not gonna go, go, like go to a different star system with, um, what do you call it, um, a light fighter or a, a, a small vehicle. It's it's gonna be an invested 
uh, thing. You no, know, I think no. that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All we're right. here at Arc. We're at L1. So if you All just right. want to go in, grab some. I, uh, All right. One I'm second. just parked. Yeah, I'm just parked right outside a pad. So. Okay. Just kind of just remember which pad I'm at. Okay. You want I'll to be right back. Yeah. While you're doing that, I'll I'll get changed. Okay. No problem. Uh, no, but yeah, I, uh, but yeah, with the depending on what you want to move. I mean, if you're going to want to move ground vehicles, so you're going right. to you know, you're going to need your star lifters. Right. Uh, would be the most efficient ones because. Right. Um, you're going to want to bring your heavy stuff. Yeah, 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 and and I and I think it also it will it will open up opportunities for orgs. Um, so pad. 10 your location pad 12 okay pad 12 um so it'll open up opportunities for orgs that offer services like uh logistic logistical services um they they know where the shortcuts are let's say wormholes or, or jump gates that are not really on the map yeah. they know shortcuts you know they know how to get there they know what's there you, they know where to go and how to get you to places faster and, and like I think it'll open it up for those as well, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it'll be cool. Oh yeah, yeah. And, uh, and a lot of or I know a lot of orgs are, are, are trying that. They're they're looking into that to do. Oh right, okay. That kind of stuff. So you know, they're like, hey, we'll provide you know transport services and stuff. Oh nice, 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 nice. And then, uh, they can make a pretty penny for that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, like I mean, like for like if you're moving somebody's vehicle, a couple of let's say what's what's that liberator that could carry multiple vehicles? If you're moving that for somebody, that's gonna be a decent amount of money you can make. You know, just to do that. You know. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's it's like oh, so you want us to move two fighters and a ballista, so you mm -hmm. guys can go attack this thing. Mm -hmm. All right. You gotta pay gas. You gotta pay maintenance. You gotta right, pay right, <laughs> right. We're, we're gonna get our cut. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> gotta pay daddy one way or another. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs>